hi guys welcome to my channel my name is promoted sandra if this is the first time you're coming across this channel hi if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful top with a puff sleeve so let's get right into the video this is the fabric i'm going to be using this is like a cord lace or a dry lace i use this to make a dress on my sister so the remaining one is what i'm using for myself this material is not up to one and a half yards it's just like one yard and something that is if it's up to so this is the fabric as you can see on the table so what i'm going to be doing first i'm going to be cutting out the front of this um top first so i'm just going to go ahead and measure the length of my top the length is 17 plus one inch sewing allowance that is 18 then the wideness i'm going to go ahead and divide my hip by four then we'll add extra two inch to it to cut the wideness of the fabric so my hip is 42 i divided it by four which is 10 and a half 10 and a half plus two inches extra allowance that is 12 and a half i want to cut out 12 and a half by wideness and 18 inches by length so what i'm going to be doing now is to mark a straight line at the upper side of this fabric which is going to be serving as my starting point okay so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to mark my body points okay so please take note of this i'm going to go ahead and minus five inches from the upper part because this is an off shoulder top so i'm going to minus five inches before marking my point so once i was done with that i went ahead to mark uh, my chest line point which is nine inches then i went ahead to mark my bust point which is 10 inches so at this point you don't need your under bust so i went ahead to mark my waistline which is 15 inches so i'll go ahead and mark a straight line across just like as you can see me doing so i'll just go ahead and label it chest line bust point and waistline so the remaining one the damp part is the top length okay i'm just going to label it top length so i'll go ahead and mark a straight line at the down so that it will be straight so once i'm done with that the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to impute my shoulder measurement so i will divide my shoulder by two okay so i will mark it my shoulder is 14 14 divided by two is seven so i went time to mark seven so from this several point i will come in by two inches because this is an off shoulder dress okay so i will come in by two inches I will come to my chest line i will put my bust measurement then i will come to my waistline i will put my waist measurement my waist divided by four so i will come to my hip line i will put my hip measurement my hip divided by four so i'll go ahead and connect the points together like this then from the Two inches i went in at the shoulder line i will draw a slant line just like as you can see me doing i will draw a slant line like this to meet the chest line okay so this is going to be serving as my armhole so what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be adding that to this dress i'm going to be adding one inch for that and one inch for sewing allowance that is going to give me two inches so i'll mark two inches round from the chest line to the to the hip line i'll mark two inches just like as you can see me doing so once i was done i'll go ahead and connect the points so i will extend the armhole to the two inches i just marked so once i'm done sewing it if there's any excess i'll go ahead and cut it out so what i'm going to be doing now from this chest line i'm going to be coming down by one inch okay so i'm just going to give it a sweetheart neckline so i'll go ahead and curve it just like as you can see me doing so if you want to leave your own straight you can go ahead and leave it straight after that i'll go ahead and cut it out so just watch out and see how i am cutting it out okay so once i was done cutting it i'll go ahead and remove this sharp edge at this uh, hip area okay so once i was done cutting it off the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to fold another fabric into two which is good i'm going to be using to cut out the back so what i did now is i went ahead to place the front side at the back side okay so i left like almost one inch for the zipper allowance make sure you do that so once i'm done i'll just go ahead and cut out the 
armhole area the side is very easy just place the front at the back side and trace it out the only place i'm not going to be tracing that is the zipper area and also the uh, neck for the back or the shoulder for the back okay so when you are placing your front fabric to the back fabric make sure the side you mark with check is is the side facing the upper side okay so what i'm going to be doing now is to extend the waistline to the back side so i'll go ahead and extend the line the waistline at the back because i'm going to be making use of that soon so once i was done with that the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to draw the neck for the back side okay so for the back side of this dress is going to have um, a u neck so i'm just going to go ahead and use my french curl just like as you can see me doing to draw the u neck for the back so you can also decide to make your straight is fine so once i was done i'll go ahead and cut it out just like as you can see me doing so now that i'm done cutting it i will come to this line that i extended at the back okay which is the west line I'm going to be going in marking in half inch this is to remove parking from our zipper i'll go ahead and extend it there i will draw a slant line from the shoulder to that half inch that i marked i hope you can see what i'm doing then i will also place my ruler and mark a slant line like this so i'll go ahead and cut it out just like as you can see me this this is to remove parking okay just make sure you follow up with this so once i was done cutting it this is how it look like i'm just going to go ahead and keep it aside i cut out the linings for the both the front and the back okay so before i cut out the lining i'm just going to go ahead and cut out the sleeve for the hand as you can see what i have left here is not big so what i'm going to be doing now is to cut this out then join it together i'm just going to pieces it and join it together because that is the only way i'll be able to get uh the puff for the sleeve so the material is not big so i advise you buy one and a half yard if you want to make this or two yards of fabric if you're not too fat you can make use of one yard it will be enough so right now i've gone ahead to cut out lining for both the front and the back so i went ahead to cut out two linings okay the first one is door face as you can see i even went ahead to join the door face i can't find the door face that i bought so the reason why i'm i'm lining this is because the fabric has like a hole it's like a cord lace a bit dry lace okay it has a hole so this is the puff sleeve i've gone ahead to join it as you can see you're going to see a lot of joining over here this is just to make sure i have what i'm looking for so i've gone ahead to join it then after that i went ahead to cut lining for it the reason why i went ahead to cut lining to lining it is to for it to have weight since the line the length is not long so i want to line it inside to have weight so right now i'm just going to take this front side to the sewing machine now and place it on the lining then sew it first like this okay so once i'm done sewing it i will sew the sides okay then i'll come back and place the lining at the front after sewing the first one i will place the lining at the front of the lace front not the back so the first line is going to be at the back while the second line is going to be at the front that will sew it after sewing it after sewing the up i will top stitch on it then sew the down then come back sew the side sew the other side so we are just going to be doing this together at the sewing machine so this is me sewing it just like as i earlier explained so please watch it even if you do not understand what i'm saying please watch what i'm doing you will understand So once i was done sewing the lining on it i went ahead to notch it after notching it i went ahead to top stitch it's very important for you to notch it most especially the center so that it will be easier so at the down part i'm just going to go ahead and cut out half inch from the down okay i'm cutting out from the lining not from the main fabric then i'll go ahead and drag the lining at the main fabric together and sew it So once i was done sewing it i'll go ahead and turn it out through the armhole area okay so i'm also going to be doing the same thing for the back i'll first of all go ahead and sew the back 
then after sewing it i'll go ahead and line it then turn it out to the armhole so i'll also go ahead and cut at half inch just like the same thing i did for the front it's the same thing i'm doing for the back it's the same thing nothing different okay So I've gone ahead to sew it and also iron it. This is what it look like. So I've already gone ahead to iron it. Okay. So please take note of what I'm about to show you. After I was done ironing it, I went ahead to fold it into two like this and I gave it a very good press just to have that line at the center. Then after that, I went ahead to fold it into two again like this and iron it. I fold in four inch, four inches, which is my doubt which is for my doubt okay so this is my nipple to nipple uh, measurement four inch so i went ahead to fold it then after that as you can see i went ahead to iron it just to have that line over there so that when i want to sew it it will be very easy so i did the same thing for the back but for the back i went ahead to measure five inches after folding it into two the reason for the five inches is because four inch for the dart for four inch for the nipple to nipple one inch for the uh, zipper allowance so right now i've gone ahead to sew my dart okay as you can see i've already gone ahead to sew the dart for the two bags and also the front the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to attach the zip on it so i'll go ahead and sew the zip so i've already gone ahead to sew the zip and as you can see this is very easy the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to place the front to the back side and shaping it so go ahead and fit place the front at the back and then take your body measurement so i'm just going to go ahead and take my body measurement right now i've gone ahead to mark it out as with my check okay as you can see so once i was done with that it's very easy all you just need to do is minus the allowance you added to it okay so just go ahead and mark the allowance you added it's very easy so I'm, for me i went ahead to mark the allowance i added after that i went ahead to sew it just like as you can see me doing so once i was done sewing it the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to sew is to sew the puff sleeve so i've already gone ahead to lining the puff sleeve as i earlier said so this is it but for you if you are using this kind of material maybe cord lace you don't need to line it if you have excess fabric so i already explained why i lining mine so i'm just going to go ahead and fold it like this okay because we are going to be inserting elastic on it so i'm just going to go ahead and fold it just like as you can see me doing then i'll go ahead and sew it and i'm going to be doing this for both the upper side and the down side because i'm going to be adding elastic at the upper side and also at the down side and i'm also going to be doing it for the i'm going to be doing the same thing for the other sleeve okay so once i was done sewing it this is how it look like very neat and beautiful so um i've already gonna have to do the same thing for the other side i'm just going to place it together and fold it into two just like as you can see me doing so the reason why i'm folding it into two is because i want to cut the armhole so i'll go ahead and place the dress that is the dress on the um, sleeve and cut at the armhole this is what i normally do when it comes to off shoulder so you can just go ahead and cut it out but to have the accurate length measurement for the armhole that's why i went ahead to place the front on it so once i was done with that the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to cut out the elastic i'm going to be using so the elastic i use for the shoulder is 10 inches while the elastic i use for the down the length is uh eight inches so just go ahead and measure your own arm and know what you're going to be using this is me i've gone ahead to insert the elastic so i will also go ahead and insert elastic at the down side which is the arm area so i'm going ahead to insert it and i'm just going to go ahead and attach it to the top so what i'm going to be doing now is to open up the zip or turn it to the flip it to the other side the right side so this is the right side of the puff sleeve then the right side is going to be facing the right side of the top just like as you can see me doing please just pay attention to what i'm doing so i'll go ahead and pin it okay this is the armhole i'm pinning it to the armhole of the top so I'll go ahead and pin it then i will flip it and pin the other side just go ahead and do it the way you know you can do it okay so in case you have any other method or other way of um attaching your sleeve to your dress go ahead and do it the one that is far far easier and better do it so i'll go ahead and pin the other side oh i will take it to the sewing machine and sew it like this then as and also sew it like this then 
so the downside i will do the same thing for the other side okay just like as you can see me doing so now that i'm done this is how it look like so beautiful thank you very much guys for watching see you on my next video so please if you're enjoying this video don't forget to like subscribe and leave your comments at the comment section and as well i have another youtube channel where i talk about skincare how to level up how to make money online in case you're interested and also how to um start and grow a youtube channel so please do where uh, to click the link at the comment section to subscribe to that channel or kindly search for promoted omokai sandra so see you there stay tuned stay there